Hi, Caleb and Keith with Brownells here, and in this edition of From the Vault, we're back at Rock Island Auction Company, and every time I sit down with Keith, I feel like we're auditioning to be the villains in some new crazy movie. <laughs> what, what do we have here today, Keith? Dude, we have the finest in Finnish interpretation of the AK, the Valmet M76, and then the Valmet M82. Nice. Now, 1962, uh, the Finnish military, working in conjunction with Sako, or Seiko, however you want to pronounce that. And uh, Valmet were looking at doing uh, modernized rifles for the military. And they got a hold of a Polish AK and pretty much copied it and then made some improvements on it. And they come up with what they call the RK-6276. Now this is a civilian version that came into the US into the 80s. I mean, when these first came in, they were like 350 bucks. And before 1989, there wasn't a problem getting these. But it's semi-automatic, uh, has a tubular stock. To actuate it, you pushed up on this right here. Okay. And it folded over. And three-prong flash hider right here with a bayonet lug right there. Now, what the fins did, instead of having the rear sight forward of the receiver, they moved it to the back of the sight, or back of the receiver cover. And it gives you a longer sight radius, and sure. it works really good. And there's also a flip up for a night sight here. Right there. Okay, And a nice. tritium insert. Very cool. And this could also be used as a wire cutter as well. Now this one right here, this M76 is chambered in 5.56. Now, they did a lot of them, most of them was uh, 7.6239, but there's 5.56 as well as other calibers. Now the only kicker on the 5.56 models is that it takes a specific magazine. So if you ever get one of these, you're tied to the mag that was made for the, there's really not any other out there for it. But it's just a, a nice, finished made version of an AK that they greatly improved on. Now, if you see this slant right here, and notice another AK variant that's similar to that, the Israeli Galil, mm -hmm. they've got a couple of the early Valmets, Valmets and, and basically copied them and then made their improvements on it. But these are great, fantastic rifles. Yeah, very cool gun. So obviously they, uh, the Galil or the AK-101s didn't adopt the magazine pattern. It's yeah. specific to this one. Yeah. So, yeah, very cool gun. The first thing I noticed, you know, whenever I picked it up, obviously, was the um, the stock. Stock, yeah. And then the second thing I noticed was that sight radius. And then uh, I immediately, after seeing that, you know, went to the dust cover and kind of felt around with that. Because yep. every time I see an a, a sight on an AK dust cover, <laughs> that's, you know, aftermarket US yeah, stuff, it's, it's always it's the most shaky. flimsiest, yeah. gross thing. But no, this one's yeah, obviously, it's solid. I, I knew it was going to be solid when I picked it up, but I wanted to see how they did it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool gun there. Very cool. And, and, and you'll see a good part of these, like I said, this tubular stock. I mean, in the extreme environments, this held up really, really good versus wood and other stuff that they had at the time. Right. Now, around 1982, they started looking at doing a bullpup for paratroopers. And they came out with this right here. Now, there was only 2,000 of these made. And I can really see why, because it's just not that user-friendly. There was issues with the rear sight hitting i mean hitting face of i mean it's 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 really awkward and i mean i'm not the biggest bullpup fan i've got a hellion and it's okay but mm -hmm. this right here just really doesn't do it for me and what they did they basically took the m76 and turned it into a bullpup version and you had your selector right here instead of your selector like that right and then this chassis is all polymer, or fiberglass. But that's just, it's neat. I mean, it's cool, but it's its just a little, maybe too forward for me for, yeah, and, for an you AK. Know, I'm not a huge bullpup fan either. Um, and this is, a, this is a big bullpup. It's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. And I'm also left eye dominant. So I'm yeah. not, not only am I not gonna be able to use the sights, 
but I'm also going to need to make sure my dental insurance is good because it's charging handle. <laughs> it's going to beat you to death. It's, it's, it's going to hit me in the face. Um, so, so yeah, definitely not user yeah, friendly. Yeah, it'll give you a brass grill all the way around. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, I mean, cool idea. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe just not as user friendly enough to be practical. Right, right. But after around 2,000 of them were made, they just just called it quits because they just didn't take off and work like the way that they wanted them to. Right. But yep, there you've got it. That is the Valmet M76 and the Valmet M82. Awesome. Well, very cool guns. Interesting. Uh, I'm glad you picked these because these are some that I really haven't gotten to ever dive into. So as always, we'd like to thank Rock Island Auction Company for having us out. If you have any experience with these and have anything to add, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah, smash it like you mean it. Oh yeah. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault.